Welcome back to the 10 foot foam and fabric kayak. You've missed all the loud, grindy parts. I just took some rough, rough, rough sandpaper. I think it's 80 grit and just put it on the block and knocked off the rough parts. And then we'll just fill in the little divots with the paint. Should be able to get a pretty good look at the difference of the finer burlap versus the big heavy duty burlap or thicker burlap. There's heavy duty burlap would be like what you get oysters in. And that stuff's too thick to use. All right, I'm just gonna give y'all a little shot on that. Working some paint into the, into the crevices. And I'm gonna use a smaller roller. And what I wanna do is, you should be able to get out up here and you can see I'll point you down a little bit. You can see as I roll it in, it's going to take probably several coats. But you watch as uh, you roll it in, you see the bubbles. They just the the voids it looks like bubbles. You just have to keep working it in. And I'm going to imagine it's probably going to take at least two coats of paint to get this. And you can use whatever paint you want on here. I uh, This is some exterior grade house paint. I got it as a, what's up? Oops paint. So I think it's $3 a gallon for it. And right along here, there's gonna be some voids where you're gonna have to really Press that paint in on each round that you go. You gotta watch for those boys and just keep keep squeezing paint into it. It's not you're not gonna sink if you don't get it right, but uh, it's it's just a good idea to protect your foam because eventually that foam will give up the ghost and and start soaking up water. But that's only if you leave it in the water all the time. And nobody, I wouldn't recommend that. Somebody might come and take your kayak. So, uh, i tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and probably turn the camera off and get a, get a coat of paint on it. Let that dry overnight. And then come back. And what I want to do on this one, um, I'm going to... Go with the white color on the bottom, but I'm gonna put big black stripes on it about three inches across. It represent looking like a cattle guard. It was a grade in the ground that the cattle, won't, cattle and horses and donkeys won't walk over. So maybe they won't step on this one because they did step on the last one. I mean, that, not the last one, but that eight foot dinghy on the one year review. Um, I went out there and took a video of it, and it had some hoof prints on the bottom. So. It held up under a, a horse walking over it. Could have been a pony. I don't know. Anyway, we'll see y'all later on the next video.